Hey friends, welcome back to Decorate with Dana. So today we are talking all things fall. I hope you guys enjoy this kind of a little bit of a mixed video. I'm gonna be showing you how you can repurpose um, something that a lot of us have in our house and just make it a fall decor. So kind of changing it up a little bit. So I'm excited to share that with you. Um, I have a couple of recipes that I want to share. I recently picked up a fall cooking magazine in the line at the grocery store. So we tried two of the recipes. They were amazing. So with apple season coming up, that's one of our favorite things to do is go apple picking. We do it usually a couple times a year. So we end up with this like huge bushel of apples and you can only eat so many. And then we make apple crisp and make apple pies and um, apple every applesauce, but I'm always looking for different recipes. So I wanted to try this apple fritter bread that was in this recipe. It turned out amazing, amazing. I out. probably would have chopped up one more apple just to give a lot more apple flavor, but otherwise it was absolutely amazing and it was very easy to do. So I'm going to share that recipe with you, maybe give you some ideas if you happen to go apple picking and have an abundance of apples and looking for different things. Um, and then also a recipe I wanted to do I think it's like a turkey bacon cranberry roll-ups it's more like either an appetizer or an easy lunch idea but they were so so good and they did not take long to make at all you could take shortcuts and use already like the little cooked up bacon pieces I happen to bake or to cook up four pieces of bacon to chop it up but you could easily take the shortcut and just use the already the little bacon bit you know, real bacon bits, and that would make cut your time in half. And as it was, it did not take long. So again, a really easy lunch recipe or an appetizer. If you're having friends over for just some drinks and appetizers, this would be perfect for that. Or honestly, we had it for lunch or for dinner with a salad, and that was fine for us because we're not, you know, we're we're okay with occasionally having a sandwich or something light for dinner, anyways. So it worked for us for every meal. So I think you guys will really like that. And then I also have another small little haul of some more fall things that I've been picking up. And then I just wanted to squeeze this video in with a little DIY, some cooking, and another little fall haul before the fall decorating videos will start next week. So let me know if you like these kind of variety type of videos. And we're gonna get on with probably doing that DIY first. Okay, so we are going to take this fiddle leaf tree from Target, and I'm just gonna show you how you can transform this into a really pretty fall tree using, the cold is laying on, using these stems that are from Michael's, and I'll be putting these leaves on this tree and making it a pretty fall tree. a life I lead in this city Hurrying to cut my teeth I can take what I need to get by It doesn't make it easy The other piece of my heart moves slow Somewhere in the great unknown When I return from the afterglow Will you carry me like I am If 
I could take you back to my youth And show you what I wish I'd knew My will is strong with a place to lean In the moment I hung best belief The other ring of my wrist is gold Pairing with the light it holds When I return from my skin and bone I'm remembering the words you told Okay, so I just wanted to quickly share with you a few more things I've picked up for fall. I probably won't really be doing much more of any fall hauls. Um, I did like one a couple videos back and then I did do a hearth and hand haul, but that wasn't really all specifically fall. Um, and this is not either. Again, like I said before, I like to just bring in the warmth of the season, but I also like to find pieces that perhaps I can keep using. It's not just fall specific, but it brings in those warm, cozy textures and colors that I'm going for. And then a couple things are just specifically fall, but for the most part, I think I have a decent amount of stuff that can be just carried through and used all throughout the year. So I have just a couple things from Amazon and Joann's and like TJ Maxx and a antique, local antique um, store here to me. So we will just start with Joann's. I did get two of these faux leather pillows. On this side is this really pretty kind of felt brown 
If you hear that noise in the background, my neighbor is mowing right now, but I can't help that. So anyways, I did pick up two of these. They were normally $49.99. They were 40% off, but then what I like about Joann's is then you can use all, they'll like scan all your coupons on your app and see what works. So I ended up getting them. So normally they would have been like 20. I think I ended up getting them for around 15 by the time I used my other coupons and stuff. So I did grab two of these. I love the, um, the texture and the look of the faux leather. So those will be on probably on my sofa. And then also from Joann's, I just picked up this really pretty, I really just liked the color of this backdrop, just this little hello fall sign with a little um, leather strap. Leather seems to be a very popular texture that is out. It was out last year too. So, um, and I can see why. It just adds a lot of warmth and coziness to a space. So I did get this little sign, normally $19.99. Again, 40% off, but then with various coupons, so. I grabbed that. Okay, so then the last thing I grabbed were just four more of these mugs. I used some of these in my late summer decorating, kitchen decorating video. I love this really kind of pale rust colored orange and I think it was just perfect and honestly these were part of their summer decor so they were 75% off. So normally they were um, $12.99 so $13. They were like three dollars and something cents by the time i was done or around three dollars so i got four of these for the little hooks above my coffee bar i think they will be perfect i love that these all like just these really kind of pale pretty rusty color oranges and not the super bright oranges are out i love that and again like i said these were part of the summer decor so i snatched up four of those okay so i think that was everything from joann's the next Thing we will move on to is Amazon. So I do love getting pillow covers from Amazon. Saves me so much space. It's easy to change out a pillow cover and you know not have to store a whole pillow. So I did grab two of these. I think that they were, I can't remember if they were sold as a pair or if I picked up two of them. I will make sure I have them linked in my Amazon store. They just have the really simple leather little stripe there, you know, just incorporating a couple different colors of the cozy leather look. Um, just has the one little stripe and then, the, or strip of leather, faux leather, and then the gray and white stripes and the cream at the top. So I did grab two of those also for my sofa. Okay, so the next thing was from Amazon also, and they had this really pretty set of these three little jug bottles. Let me see if I can somehow. So, so I can give you an idea of what they all look like next to each other. Really pretty, just subtle, neutral colors in creams and grays and tans. And they're just really, really pretty. Perfect, I like them displayed honestly, just like this, but you can spread them around and put them in different areas. You can put greenery in them or you don't even have to put greenery in them. They look beautiful just like this. Um, you can set these at the end of like a stack of books on a bookshelf, so almost like a bookend. So these were really pretty. I will have these also linked down in my Amazon store. I think for all three of them, it was around $35, but I'm not positive I will have them linked. I did run over to Home Goods and I picked up these. I just love, I love the whole look of the links like on a bookshelf or um, like on a tray or something on the mantle. I just think they add such a really cool um, wooden element to your space. These were only $16.99. And I just liked that these were square. I don't really have any square links. All mine are oval. So I liked that they were a little bit unique. So then I did grab, I'm not huge on I'm not a big Ray Dunn collector anymore, but I did think these were really cute. They just say, hello pumpkin, and they have the ribbon. It is the brighter orange ribbon, so I may switch it out, although it doesn't bother me too bad because with the twine mixed in, um, I think it's fine. But you know, I just like to use like book stacks for just layering and putting different things on or putting a really pretty plant or even like the plant that we just made 
out in the DIY. I think that would look really pretty on there with like the greenery draping over the sides. Um, two more things I grabbed from Amazon were, I love these little picture lights. They're really pretty popular now. They just kind of hang on your wall. Super easy to hang. They have two little, they're very lightweight, um, but they have just two little nail holes here. And so that just slides onto your wall to hang over a picture. And then it has a little remote and you can just turn it on and you can change like the brightness. You can change the colors somehow. Oh yeah. So you could change like different color types um, and you can just turn it on and off with your remote. So really, really pretty hanging over pictures. So I have, you'll definitely see how I'm going to end up using all of these things in my fall decorating videos. I will be using all of these items. So you will see how I'm going to use those. So I got the black one of that. And then I did get, I did get the gold, but I don't like the actual color of the gold. It's like a almost like a rose gold, which is pretty, but it's not gonna go with my decor, but it's like an orangey, brassy color. So I probably will like age this somehow. But anyways, I did grab the gold and the black. Again, they both come with remotes. I will have those linked. Just really pretty way to highlight. I might even put one over my coffee bar and just have it, you know, illuminate down on the coffee bar. I think that that would look really pretty too. So. Really, I love those, and I think they're around $20 or so, and um, I think they're worth it. I think they just add a nice little touch to whatever you wanna highlight. So next I went, oh, nope, I'm sorry. One more thing from Home Goods. I did pick up just this little planter. Very subtle, I don't know if you can tell. There we go, it has just little pumpkins on it, but it's very, very neutral. I have a lot of little hanging, um, a lot of little plants like the one we just made that are in like regular pots that I could just put right in here and I love to put those on shelves and just have the greenery draping down. So I did grab this. I think that this was $12.99 at uh, TJ Maxx. All right, so then I ran over to a um, local antique store and I picked up just a couple things. I love hanging on my plate racks some just old vintage antique things. So I grabbed another one of these scoops to hang and then this little like spatula kind of thing. Really cute, looks so cute hanging in my kitchen on the rack on the end of the island. And then I also grabbed the white enamel one also. Um, and then just a little antique haul this time, nothing big. And then I did grab three books. I love just neutral old antique books that look a little aged, but that the bindings are very neutral. I really like the look of the black ones. So I think that these were only like two or three dollars each. I found this little place that was just a little mom and pop antique place it was just shoved full of stuff so i wish i had more time to really go through and look i didn't have a lot of time that day but that is definitely a place i want to go back and visit it's way less expensive than some of these other antique stores around here just because there's just so much stuff and they're willing to negotiate the prices so that is where i picked up these antique things and then the last two things i want to share with you are from etsy I did get this one, uh, this dough bowl candle. This is in pumpkin rum spice, pumpkin spice rum cake, something like that. Um, but it is the Woodwick candle and the dough bowl is the white dough bowl. So um, I w can't remember the name of the Etsy store, but I will definitely have that Etsy store linked down below. But this smells heavenly and I just love the rustic look of the dough bowl with the candle. Um, and then the last thing is from Etsy. I'm gonna stop and flip you around and I will show you what that is. Okay, so the last thing I wanted to share with you was this really pretty olive tree I found on Etsy. Again, I am very sorry my neighbor is mowing right now. <laughs> but anyways, it's really pretty. It is five feet tall and it really, really is very realistic looking. It has the olives on it. I love this. 
so I haven't styled it yet. It still just comes in that tiny little black pot. I just got it, so I haven't decided exactly where I'm going to put it yet, but again, you will see exactly how I style this and where it ends up going in my house when I do my fall decorating, but I highly recommend this olive tree from Etsy. Again, I will have the shop linked down below. Okay, so from the fall recipes magazine that I have, I wanted to try the turkey bacon, I think they're turkey bacon cranberry roll-ups. They look really easy. So I just have whole wheat tortillas. I could not find not carb balanced ones, but I think they'll taste fine. Um, deli turkey, thinly sliced deli turkey. We like ours shaved, so it's extremely thinly sliced, but however, I mean, it just says thinly sliced two green onions, an eight ounce package of cream cheese. We're gonna use four slices of bacon, so I'm gonna get those um, cooked till they're crispy and crumbly, so I'm going to get those cooking in the oven, and then just some cranberries. I watch you as you dry do you know I'm looking and I can't help but smile do you know how much I love you you put my favorite song on I put my feet up and we just sing along and I can't help but feeling just loving this moment can we stay here Okay, next we're going to make apple fritter bread. So these are the ingredients that you're going to need for that. I have a half a cup of milk, salt, one Granny Smith apple, we'll be peeling and chopping that up, cinnamon and vanilla, flour, sugar, regular granulated sugar, baking powder, two eggs, we're gonna use a third of a cup of butter and a quarter cup of packed brown sugar. And so I'm gonna start out by peeling and chopping the apple after I turn on the oven and then we'll mix it all together. Now it's too late 
now it's too late I'm out of time But I'm still thinking of you My heart keeps on bleeding I have scars, the ones that healing They're all there because of you It's my fault, I messed it up You're so bad, won't you come back to me? I've got you in my head, you're all that I see. I've lost all my chances, I know that I am too late. I'm thinking of you, I'm thinking of you, I'm thinking of you. Wondering if you're thinking about me too. Now it's too late. Thinking of you Oh my gosh, you guys, this bread is absolutely amazing. My whole family loves it, and it's so nice to have one more recipe that we can do with all the apples when we go apple picking. The glaze is delicious, this sour cream glaze. It just adds a nice little tangy sweetness to the top. There's little chunks of apples in here. So I definitely highly recommend this recipe. I'm going to try to link the recipe down in the description box. If I can't find a link, then I will type it out for you. Okay, friends, that's going to wrap up today's video. Let me know if you love these kind of videos. Just a little bit of a mix of everything. Um, I like doing them. I like sharing different things. Not always am I all day just decorating. I love to try different recipes. I really love to try like fall. in the fall and the winter are my favorite time to try new recipes. I guess it just feels cozy to like cook or bake or something. So I've already picked a couple recipes out of that book that I want to try again like in a video next week. I'm going to try to maybe put in a little um, cooking video occasionally in some of my decorating or little cooking segment in you know some of my regular decorating videos probably try to do it at the end so that if cooking is not your thing and you don't you aren't here to watch that you definitely could stop the video but I like sharing these recipes so I would also love if you have any kind of a recipe that you want me to try or that you know you think I would love I just like easy I don't like a ton of complicated recipes, but like easy, cozy, comfort food, either dinner ideas or baking or, you know, lunch or coffee drinks or something. Let me know because I would love to try them and I can even try them on a video sometime also. So leave those um, links or whatever down in the description box or if you have a recipe you want to email me, my email is always down in the description box as well. So follow me over on Instagram at Decorate with Dana and if you are new I would love for you to subscribe. All the cozy fall decorating videos are coming up and I can't wait to share them with you. I hope you all have an amazing day and I will see you in my next video.